friends welcome back to my channel and what am I doing today um, we are looking at tape markers again I swear guys this is not another month of the paint markers it's not uh, it's just that I've been watching a lot of cheap versus expensive products and I thought to myself I have cheap products I have products that cost a bit more so why don't I just compare the two and so I decided to do that with these paint markers here. First, starting with these paint markers, and who knows where I'm going to end up. Um, but if you guys missed out on my month of paint markers, I will link those somewhere in. I should put them in a playlist for you guys to so make it easier for you guys to find. And we're looking at, on my right here, these pointer. Pintura Acurella, Acurelca, um, acrylic paint markers versus the Posca paint markers. And of all the paint markers I had, the reason why I chose the pointers and not the Milan or the Subsets or this one which is Zaire is because when I compare the price per unit, these Puskas here cost about three to four dollars per marker. I'm sure you have some other um, suppliers, well, art stores that will probably go six to five, but the average price generally is about three dollars to about four dollars US per marker. And I'm looking at both the one mm size nib and the 3mm size nib and from my research that's what I found. The Milan is amazing because I don't think these are paint markers. I think these are what they call chalk markers and the only reason I say that is because when I use them and they finish dry they leave this very chalky effect that like you can rub your um, finger off it and it feels like the paint has come off. So I'm thinking these fluor glass is actually chalk markers. And for that reason, I've disqualified them from this um, battle. And these generally cost you about $2 US. I bought it here in Belize, which is about $4 US, uh, $4 Belize, so it's about $2 US. I also have here the Subsid, which I also bought here in my country. And when I looked at the price per markers, um, this came in an 18 color range set, which I paid about $35 Belize for it, which is about $17.50 US. So these cost about $0.97 cents US. And when I looked at the Zaire, I bought these from Amazon for about $9 US. And when I compared the price um, per unit, this came in a 10 was it 10 I think it was a 10, 12, 12 pack unit. Um, these generally cost about 75 cents per unit. And that brings us now to these pointers, which cost about $11.95 Belize, which is about $5.99 US. And these two cost about 75 cents. Per pen and um, I don't think I have enough of these to compare them with the pastas so I'm using the Zaire instead the pastas so I'm using the pointers instead okay so this is a head-to-head -head battle and I fairly tried to do some color matching here so I have both the oranges for the pasta and the pointers I'm also going to be using purples I also have the reds I also have the pink. I have a fuchsia, but I don't have a fuchsia pasta, but I do have a light pink pasta and a wine, red wine pasta. Um, I do have greens. So, yeah. But the pasta is a little more, I have a little more versatility with colors with the pastas versus the 
pointers. The one thing I should also remind you guys is that when I did this, um, presented these to you, I did talk about it. So I will definitely link that playlist in the playlist below. And I have here also the glitter set of the pointers, acrylic markers, and I'll be using the Posca light green because I don't have any light green colors in the pointers. And I did go to my local art and stationery supply store yesterday and I did not see any other packs of markers. So I did paint markers that is so I don't think they brought in any more. But these are good representation of the colors. Now I have a roughly drawn flower here. I actually dropped two flowers sets. I didn't um, copy and trace so I sat down and I drew two flower sets and we'll be coloring these and try to do some color matching and see which one covers better. As you can see the pointer side is still drying it is very it dumps a lot of paint I'm not gonna say it's bad it really just dumps a lot of paint it's very juicy and it doesn't dry as quickly as the Puskas does and the Puskas that I use primarily was these ones the one millimeter ones um, I disqualified these three colors, which is the Posca Light Rose and yeah, Light Pink, Red Wine, and the Pointer's Fushka. I disqualified these because I wanted to do color matching as best as possible. So what I did is I used the orange, the greens, the red, the pink, and the purple, and I used the orange. For my light green, I actually used the Pointer's um, acrylic glitter marker because it's a bit lighter than the green that comes in the flame. And the red, the pink, and the purple. Just try to color match. And you can see here, the colors of the Pointer's, which is on this side, is very, very bright. The red, the pinks are bright, the reds are bright, the greens are bright, whereas the Posca, the green and the red and the pinks are kind of dull. Not as bright as the pointers. And I'm wondering if these have in some form of fluorescent light in them. So give me a break. Let me go and get the black light and see if they have fluorescent in them. Okay, so bright light 
black light, sorry, bright light. Black light is a great way to see if the paints that or pigments have any form of fluorescent additive in it. And we're gonna be putting the black light on the pointers. As you can see, that is glowing, guys. The pink is beautifully, it looks like a pink highlighter. And the green looks like one of those light green highlighters. And the green that we're using here is this one which is this one here yeah so you can definitely see that right there let's do the pasta oh wow the paint just glows look at that so we can definitely say that the paint does have in some form of fluorescent um, additives to it and for the pointers it is the green I have a swatch chart here, so can, can we do the swatch chart, guys, to see what other colors on the swatch chart is fluorescent? Okay, so definitely the pink for the pointers. The pink here for the pointers, it's definitely the glitter yellow, pink, the glitter red even though the glitter red on the pointers here doesn't have any fluorescent the glitter red has the glitter green has the entire Milan floor glass has and let's see here there are some other paint markers that I have this is a subset I'm seeing the yellow and the pink definitely again the light pink here is this yeah the light pink is glowing for me let me show you that let's see you can definitely see the glow this color here is the number 12 so definitely you can see the glow that was amazing I love that <laughs> um, yeah so we're definitely seeing which one contains fluorescent that was cool to see that it was actually this color here for the Pasca that contains some kind of fluorescence in the paint. That's pretty cool. I don't think ever any YouTuber artist that I've seen actually highlighted that fact. That's really good. And um, yeah, guys, I want to do more because I just love doing cheap versus expensive. And, um, you know, not to say that the, the cheaper products are bad because I love using these pointers I really do I really really do you can see I didn't even erase my line work underneath I just paint over it to see how opaque they are and the Pasca I had to go over it a couple times you can actually see the line work underneath there yeah so yeah so I just love using these pointer paint markers if you guys saw the <laughs> my month of paint marker I didn't want April to be the month of paint markers, but it looks like it's that way. And I love this. This is really cool. Look at this comparison. That is really awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.